Alright guys, next day I've uh, gotten ready, trying to start cutting out some metal. Now, one of the things I did before I take this off is I went and I scribed around this edge here um, where it's not, like you can see, along most of this and up along the, the top. Um, the cardboard fits pretty perfectly with the, with the firewall, but down along here, in order to make it not have a super sharp edge, I brought it in a little bit further than the hole I'd cut. Um, so, I'm probably going to go ahead and use the angle grinder to cut along that scribe mark down there. Um, so, I'm going to get to work. I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Get ready to start laying it out on the sheet metal. So, I just got the firewall cleaned up. I cut that extra hole along the side here. I went ahead and cleaned up around all the edges to prep for welding. Um, there are a few that are a little hard to get to, given some of the size of the grinding disc and the radius of some of the bends, but I got it fairly well cleaned up. Um, I think I'm ready to start plasma cutting. I traced out the first, first piece on the plate here. I got the plasma cutter out. Now, unfortunately, I've only got a six gallon air compressor, so, uh, I'll be curious to see if I can actually manage to cut out like an entire sheep before I have to stop. I know I could typically get somewhere around about like two minutes, maybe a minute and a half of straight cutting before it runs out of air. Um, but that's usually I've been cutting like three sixteenths or quarter, not uh, sixteen gauge. So I'm curious to see how quickly I'll be able to cut through this stuff. Now I'm going to be using, I've got a couple of extra parts like one of the uh, valley covers here that I'm going to use as a straight edge while I cut so I can at least get the straight faces fairly fa uh, straight. Um, every time I've tried just cutting by hand it's come out a little iffy but we're going to see how this goes. Get started. seems like all I can get out of this thing on one uh, tank of the air compressor is about one cut, so it's going to keep plugging forward one at a time. Alright guys, thought I'd film an update real quick. I spent the last couple hours here. I got all of the plates cut out. And I've got them all now tacked in place. It came out looking pretty decent. Um, there are a few gaps, and of course, especially on the thin sheet metal, filling gaps kind of sucks. Um, so definitely have some work ahead of me to get this welded up. The, the biggest issue I'm running into right now is, I don't know if you can see here, Starting at the firewall, I actually doubled up, and there's, you can see there, two, two different layers. Now, while ordinarily that wouldn't be a problem, um, for most of it here, they are pressed together, and they've been spot welded together, and they've got coatings on the back side, like in between them. And the problem with that, I don't know if any of you have experienced when you're welding on especially thin sheet metal, and there's something on the back of it. And when it gets real hot, it has a tendency to burn right through. And so you can see there, I'm having issues in a couple spots on the firewall. Some of them are no problem, and other ones just burn right through. So I'm going to have to be a little careful when I'm welding on the firewall so that I don't just make a mess. Now, the one thing is, this is <laughs> gotten a lot more solid, even just with the tack welds. Um, I'm noticing a lot more like, structural rigidity in the floor, which I'm pretty happy about, because before, if I grabbed on the floor here, I could push and shake it back and forth probably as much as half an inch, like it really moved a lot. Um, and so, having a bit, a bit more sturdy now, which is pretty much exactly what I figured would, would happen, but I'm glad that it worked out the way that I hoped it might. So, I've also now cut a uh, hole to fill in there. I had to notch, you can see these 
transmission cooler lines come through a little bit, so I'm going to have to build just a small box to cover them. I have another small piece that goes right here, and I think one right there as well. Um, I'm going to use a hole saw and cut out stuff to patch this hole, and you know, all these, there's lots of holes on the firewall from uh, all the OEM stuff. And then I still need to make a patch here as well, which I think what I'm going to do for this one is what I was trying to show last night. It's, I think I'm going to cut along here and then bring that straight up. And then I'll just actually weld a, a panel um, straight from here up to that's uh, the inside of the cowl. And uh, I'll do the same on the other side and then put a cap piece on each end just to close that in um, I think that should be sufficient so I'm just gonna keep plugging away at welding here um, fortunately the uh, new metal is always super nice to weld on I'm gonna actually go through with a, uh, a wire wheel real quick and clean up all the edges before I weld them help make the weld come out a little bit nicer but uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty well. Alright guys, it is all done. So, I mean, I still have to patch this one and the hole that's right there. I think you guys yeah, you can see through there. But, oh, and, and I've still got to do these two holes. I'm going to patch that. I'm going to leave a circle here. That's where my uh, battery cable comes through right now um, but pretty happy with how it turned out um, my welding mask I've got a fairly inexpensive welding mask and it's one of the ones that needs to be in the sun to charge and it wasn't in the sun I guess enough um, so I ended up it was going on and off and it would seem like it was working but then it wouldn't actually work so I really couldn't see for half this welding um, once I got a real mask, the welds came out better. They're definitely not pretty. Um, I don't have a lot of experience welding sheet metal. Most of what I weld is pretty heavy stuff. Um, my biggest issue was that top bead along there it would just burn through immediately. Even uh, welding pretty cool. Uh, but I seem to have gotten on a better, better path by the time I got to these ones down along the bottom here. Um, like I said, definitely still not the prettiest, uh, but I, I think they're structurally pretty good. And I like I said, the floor is way more solid than it was before. Um, I did also go ahead and weld in a patch panel for where the shifter used to be. Um, you know, I, I consider putting a manual back in this truck eventually, but if I do. I find the likelihood that like a T56 or a TR6060 shifter is going to be right there to be somewhat small. And even if it is, I can just cut that back out again. But for right now with the automatic, I uh, figured it's better to go ahead and patch this in. So I'm actually uh, taking one of my cars to California this weekend, so I'm not going to be able to get any work done on this. But starting next week again. I'll probably be back by Tuesday, so I'll start working on patching that, patching the top one, and then the little, all the little holes in the firewall, and then it's time, like I said, for those seats, I'm going to actually have to cut in here and flatten that out, uh, which I'm not, <laughs> not super excited about, but I do want to go ahead and get that done. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how that came out, like I said, it's just just a little bit more work and I think it'll be ready to start putting everything back together. So like I said, I'll probably catch you guys uh, sometime next week.